Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, Anchor Point Manipulation Made Easy. All right, so let's establish what exactly is an anchor point. An anchor point exists for every single graphic, title, clip, video, text, anything you drag in has an anchor point, and, and not just in Premiere Pro, in any application. The anchor point is usually a default in the center. So if you wanted to rotate something, it rotates around its center. If you wanted to rotate like my arm, I need to rotate on my elbow, not in the middle of my forearm. So that's where we get to change our um, anchor point. The cool thing is Premiere Pro can snap to eight different points around any object and it can use direct manipulation. Let's go have a look. So let's take a look at uh, my cheesy little ad that I created. We've got some growing graphics, dropping graphics over there, twirling up graphics, and we've got some text that shows up um, and grows. So that scales up and the other one rotates and that one comes down from the top and the other one will grow. So let's look at this uh, each in different parts. First, let's look at the uh, title. And this is the title here. It's, it's pretty simple. Uh, I just want to make a point that what's cool about this technique is it's more of an After Effects technique. When you're creating a sequence, a sequence doesn't have to be uh, a video aspect ratio size. This was 1300 pixels by 300 pixels, which to me was a good size for me to create this title. And it allows me to drop this top piece in from the top. So when we look at it over here, I don't have to draw a mask for that at all. It looks like it's coming in kind of like through the ceiling, but it's just going into the top level of that. Okay, that's not an anchor point uh, thing. This is an anchor point thing or a technique, and that is the growing of this object here. So right now, if I just uh, take this and get rid of all of my keyframes, so I just delete that uh, keyframe, and let's reset everything. So I'm going to, first of all, get rid of that. So I want to scale this, and that's the technique I'm using. I'm, I'm scaling this, uh, but, but not uniform. I'm scaling the height. And again, the default is to scale that around the center. So if I select this area up here or double click inside, you'll see I've selected that object. That's the anchor point. And now when I mouse over, you get a little indicator. If I click in here and move this around, I am moving the anchor point, which means if I move it down here in the bottom and watch this, I'm holding down the control key on Windows, command on Mac, and you can see how it now snaps to each one of those points. So if I snap this down to here and then change the scale, you can see it's scaling from the bottom. Pretty simple, right? So if I now go to the beginning, scale is zero, hit a keyframe, so that's it. Go to this point here and scale that up to, whoops, 100%. Let me just type that in instead. Now it goes up. And then I'll put my other uh, here. That one is a little bit early, so I actually want to have this happen pretty quick. So there it is. That goes up and the other one comes down. So that direct manipulation allows me to control that. Now the, the other thing you can do, instead of, instead of clicking on the, um, instead of clicking on the anchor point and moving it around, if you add the Alt key on Windows, the Option key on Mac, you will keep this anchor point in the same position, but you'll move the X, Y coordinates of the other, of the object itself. So it's similar to coming over to the effects control and changing the anchor point there. But now you have direct manipulation right inside this window to do that. All right, let's close up our title, go back over to here, and you can see there's our title coming down. And 
there's our graphic. Oh, and you got to remember uh, to turn on the little eyeball. Eh. All right. So there it is, and it comes down. Now, what about this other text here? The 30% off and this week only. 30% off is a, a title, as is this week only, and this week only is really it, its its own little title element that shows up in here. And you'll notice that the scaling that goes on in this week only, it's actually scaling from the bottom corner because that's where the anchor point is. Now this will scale from wherever that anchor point is and the anchor point can actually have a keyframe and be moving around. So now if I wanted to scale that from the center, I'm scaling that from the center or I'm scaling it and I could also do that same thing where I'm holding down control or command and I'm snapping over to there. Now it's gonna scale from that point directly. And the 30% off is rotating. So if we go back over here and click on that, there's my anchor point there. By default, it's in the middle. So when it rotates, it's in the middle. Or I could stick that in the top right-hand corner and now it's gonna rotate its way around. Oh, there we go. Now it's gonna rotate its way around from over there. So being able to, to manually manipulate exactly where that anchor point is and now snap to those eight points inside there makes a huge difference. All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button for video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a special link in the description just for you to get a free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.